Hey guys, check out this drawing I did. Really good. Mm, I don't know, it looks kind of traced to me. How dare you, this drawing is definitely not traced. I am a skilled, honest artist. Hey, okay, if you say so, I mean, it looks kind of traced, but um, okay. <laughs> Why do you keep saying these things? It's not traced, I'm a good artist, I am. Um, okay, okay, I mean, in. It's, it, even if it is traced, it's okay, because a lot of people start that way, but I can, uh, I can show you how to draw realistically without tracing if you want. Really? You mean it? Okay, let's, let's, I'll try. The first thing you have to do if you want to draw without tracing is get your brain out of cartoon mode. Cartoon mode is when you draw symbols for what you're looking at instead of drawing the exact lines and curves that you're actually observing. To get your brain out of cartoon mode, the best thing to do is do a blind contour drawing. A blind contour drawing is when you look only at the image that you're observing and you do not look at the paper that you're drawing on at all. As your eye follows every little line and curve and detail of what you're looking at, move your pencil along with your eye. Resist the urge to lift your pencil and to cheat and trust your eyes to guide your pencil. What you'll end up with is an image with some accurate details, but it may be kind of warped and disconnected. To make sure that the drawing is not warped and that all those details are in the right shape, the best thing to do is start with a ghost drawing. A ghost drawing is a really light, sketchy base drawing that shows the basic size, shapes, and angles of the image that you're drawing. For the rose, it was kind of an inner circle because the rose is a circular shape, an outer circle for the tips of the leaves, and then a few angled marks that show the angles of some of the major petals and leaves. Once I've got this ghost drawing, I can use this as a map to use the blind contour skills to draw the petals. While I draw these petals, I'm keeping my eye mostly on the image that I'm looking at and trusting my eyes to guide my pencil. And I'm kind of doing little chunks of blind contour drawing um, and piecing this together, checking, making sure that things are looking good. If they don't look good, I need to notice that they look off and then erase them and fix them. It's easier to fix little mistakes as you go than to ignore them and have everything look off in the end. Let's see the process one more time with this heart. I'm gonna do the ghost drawing, finding the big shapes and the major angles. And then we go on top of that ghost drawing with some blind contour drawings to get really accurate angles, curves, and details. And I'm erasing if something's off and fixing it as I go. If you use that process along with some patience and some focus, pretty soon you will start drawing realistically without tracing. Hey guys, now check out my drawings. <gasps> wow, those drawings are really nice. I can tell you didn't trace. Good job. Why thank you.